Hey my friends, welcome back to another episode from Uzum's Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad you are here. Friends, if you're new to this page, remember to give us a thumbs up. I mean, like this video. You want to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. And leave us a sweet, sweet comment, friends. You also want to share, you know, to your people. Anywhere you want to share, just go ahead and share. And above all, please do enjoy the vlog. <laughs> this is my first time doing uh, a market vlog. Um, it doesn't mean I went to the market too, but it's a market vlog because um, everything here is from mile 12. So I'm going to be attaching the prices of um, the things that we got. I can't remember everything totally, you understand? But the ones I can remember, I will drop it in the video and, you know, let you guys know. But I can remember, um, yeah, any price I remember, friends, I'm just going to um, put it on there. But you got to watch the end of the video to see some of the prices I can remember. Do you understand? But I do remember the total expense, you know, in the market. Okay. This, everything here is from Makoko. Um, rather, everything here is from Mao 12 market. If you stay in Lagos, you know, Mao 12 is where you do bulk um, buying and everything. POV, I do not like market. I seldom go to the market i'm not a market person at no all okay so please don't expect me to go to the market but thankfully i have friends and people that usually would help me you know when they're going for ideas and everything so yes please do enjoy and ask me questions if you have open your eyes now the billionaire chef is back in town now there's no denial. Carry your plate, we'll keep coming join now. Quality food, don't go get recipe, because this food is so I'm tired. No, no, no. I need that thing to be very dry. I'm tired, though. This is till 11 p.m. p.m. And I have to sort these things out um, today. Because if I don't, you know these guys, these things are veggies. And they're perishable so i have to just muster the courage and strength you know to um get it done um so that's um i don't do damage damages because these things veggies don't last is it joy yeah. veggies don't last so let me show you no say you no sabi, just come make you know what it's every place to get the for the lights. Cause the wiki flow will make you go mine for a long time. I don't strategize, re-energize, so you look why it's my culinary skill we come Here I got a full paint of pepper. I don't know what I was thinking by the full paint of pepper. You guys, it was a lot. I will even lie. It was the out at the I'm like ah who finish all these things, you guys. My reaction was epic. Don't get me wrong, we eat pepper a lot, but I was just scared, I don't know why. So for the tatashe I bought I think about three paints. That's custard paints now. Whenever I say paint, I mean custard paint. Okay, and I got uh, a paint of Rodo. Um, I'm gonna try to attach the prizes at the end of this video so you guys can see it if I can still remember it. Okay, I'll try my best. If you see it, just now remember. If I did not, I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, chat check or rather watch the end of this video. Yeah, and um, this um, tomatoes, um, I'm trying to remember the quantity, I think it was about two paints or half buckets of tomatoes yeah or a full bucket of tomatoes either of which you guys i've said three things now i know i know it's been a while uh you know sometime last month i did the shopping so now that you're seeing it today exactly when i bought it so i'm just trying to remember you know but the tomato is a lot okay no i bought a basket you guys i'm sorry i bought a basket of tomatoes yes that's a full basket of tomatoes yeah we got that basket and then we shared it so this was my portion of you know the sharing um i bought lots um of um cabbage 
Okay. I love purple okay. cabbage a lot. I love white Sorry. cabbage too. I love, love, love broccoli and cauliflower. This is something that I never lack in my house. So I had to restock them. You guys, I love Irish potatoes as well. I got um, two paints of Irish potatoes. This didn't last at all. In fact, I should have just gotten a full bag, you know, of Irish potatoes and all of that. I would have been happier, you know. Um, I can't exactly remember. I think they bought this seven k then from Marco, um, from out of. I don't know why I keep saying Makoko. You know, but I can't remember. Well, I'll check um the list and like I said, at the prices, you know, at at some point I was looking I'm like, where is the money? Where is the money that I spent? Like, where is it? Ah, God, you guys, I don't know, but it is well with a Nigeria. Sometimes I wonder how people feed. I wonder how people are coping with the um price um the increase in price and you know all of, it's just man it's it, god help people share that's what i can say i pray god to keep providing for everybody their needs and even their wants and all of that you know and to add to that um i really pray everybody will you know get to know god more this period because when things are seemingly tough for the world god does know how to you know preserve his people provide he's a good father He's a real good father. If your earthly father can, you know, wouldn't want you to be star wouldn't want you to starve and, you know, lack things. How much more God that is a good, good God, you know, how much more him he, he thrives in this. Do you understand? That's one thing I've learned about God, you know, in my walk with God. You know, he has a way of when there's craziness in the world, he just has a way of, you know, separating his people and showing off with them do you get i remember one time that in nigeria it was it was tough for the whole country like but i tell you that was my best year i didn't even know if there was any problem at all you know that's how god does that's how god does so i would advise anybody watching this video please get on to god you know get to know him more get closer to him he loves you and he's a good father you know, he will take care of you. He does it so good, you know. He does it so well. Cast all of your cares upon God because he really does care for you. You know, stop running away from him. You need him at this point. Because the way Nigeria, they go, you self, you know, no. You are not aware, you know. But God knows. He knows how to rescue his own. You know, when the Bible says when um, there is a casting down, we we always say there's a lifting up because that is what we will experience. And let me also say this thing. When everybody's saying they're hungry, we're big bummy, yo, this, this, that, this, is that, try not to say negative words. That's one thing I never do. I'm so particular about the words that I say. When you say you're hungry, no money, you're not this, so this Nigeria is finished, so this, that would be your reality. But I tell you, even in this economy that is like this, there are people that are thriving. There are people that are buying houses. There are people that are buying properties. There are people that, oh. I mean, they are even increased more in this period. I'm telling you this because, <laughs> hey, God, there are people that are enjoying, you know, they don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Do you get? And these are people that are plugged onto God. You cannot plug onto God and be in lack. It's not possible. God is a good father. And he does take care of his own. So, yes, let me just tell you, plug on to God, you know. Don't follow the world to say there's this, there's that. Yeah, yes, we know the, uh, what's going on in the world now, you know. But with that reality, plug on to God, you know, and just trust him for your basic need. If God can take care of the lilies, lilies, flowers that are today and tomorrow, they are no more. If God can so cloth them, Give them food and everything. How much more you that is even worth more to him? I mean, they are worth so much to him that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die for you. Uh -uh. That's a lot of um, that's a lot of care right there. So just please plug on to God this period. You do need him, you know, to help you. You can't ask God for help and he wouldn't come through. That's not God. Okay? He's a good father and he does take care of his own so that's my advice to you i really hope you cut that okay back to our shopping
Nein. Nein. Der ist der. Nein. Äh, okay. Ich hab auch keine Lust mehr. Du bist like zu süß. Spread it to her. This is this is potato nice 9000 naira. Can you believe it? One thing about me is we eat lots of veggies. You guys, we consume a lot of veggies in my house, you know. Um, so yeah, I like to buy all of these in bulk to help me. At least I wouldn't have to be, you know, buying from the markets small, small. Okay, so I'll start from there. That's um, Irish potato over there. I think that's two painters. That's um custard paint too this is tatashe and rodo inside this basin the black basin okay this is all tomatoes yeah so here is a mixture of green and yellow peppers i think it's about 40 in there and then red bell pepper is 20 in there that is my carrots and ginger okay um this is purple cabbage and uh, normal white cabbage i love my purple cabbage a lot i got a little bit of spring onion um there's runner beans and green beans over there you know that runner beans green, um, and green beans i have my broccoli I see broccoli inside there. I have quite a number of it and cauliflower. I absolutely love them a lot. I, I can't do without them. You guys, I eat my veggies a lot. So don't be surprised when you see when I buy stuff and there's a lot of veggies here. Over here, we eat our veggies like food because it's actually food. So I got one um golden seller, basmati rice. I, I, have, I have already, but I like to stock up anytime. I'm chanced, so I just decided to buy one. I bought a bag of rice few few weeks ago. It's not, I'm not sure it's up to weeks. Like a few days ago, yeah. So I just needed to buy this one again. So yeah. Here is garlic. Okay, it's still inside nylon. Um in there the, those nylons, you guys know me. I'm a um I'm a herb girl. I love my herbs a lot. You know, so I whenever I have opportunity, I, in fact, every time I buy my herbs, okay, so that in there is basil and one is um, parsley. You know, I think that that up one is basil leaf only that is inside that whole nylon, and this other smaller one is parsley. So what I do is I'm gonna wash it and dry it, and you know, some of it I might dry it, but um i'll also blend up some just put it in the fridge so it can last me a while um that is oboroko i still have some oboroko here but like i said i like to buy stuff just to have it so anything amount to cook is, is easy over there is lettuce in the nylon i don't want to take it out because i would like to put it in the fridge i would like to wash it spin it and put it in the fridge straight I have dried catfish over there. Um, I have a couple of um, other groceries like um, pounded yam. I have semo, pasta, spaghetti, just for having sick. I got two um, seasoning cubes, um, two packs. Um, I have a couple green um, um, sweet corn and red kidney beans. I have I bought like ten ten of each. You guys, these things are so pricey. Ah, oh, good. Okay, so I bought a, a um. They told me that they don't sell sweet potato in paints in paint buckets. So I had to get it in that bigger bigger bucket buckets. Okay, so this quantity of sweet potato is nine thousand naira. I think that's anything I can remember the price so far. You know, and yeah, we went to Mount 12. My friend's mom, oh my God, I'm so grateful for the people in my corner. She actually helps me to go to Mount 12 to buy all this stuff. And I'm so grateful. You guys have better people in your corner and oh my. Anyways, you guys, I love coconut a lot. So anytime I have opportunity, I always buy coconuts. I always buy coconuts. I mean, 
making coconut milk i like to have them in my fridge you know because i mean you can easily whip out meals when you have all of these things and onion you know so i'm just gonna let this onion to dry because it needs to dry up but if i see that it's getting too mushy i'm gonna make onion powder with it yeah just make something out of it that's if need be oh yeah but i'm gonna blend up some put in the fridge and i like to blend up and just meal prep just store in the fridge so that whenever i want to cook it's easy for me okay so yeah they'll help me do all of this they help me sort it and you know this is all this is not all i'm buying though i bought i still bought some seafood a lot of seafood as in lots and lots and lots of seafood maybe tomorrow we'll do that seafood on you know we didn't film it in it we didn't film it because i was really i was i was in pain then so i couldn't film the one for seafood so tomorrow we'll do that one i bought fish from i went to makoko again my friend helped me go to makoko i'm so blessed with great people around me honestly i don't trade any of my people for 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 i can't trade, like you guys huh anyway so she helped me go to makoko and got me lots of things um fishes prawns Big prawns, smaller prawns, shrimps, you know. Um, what else did she buy? Crabs, um, but could, different types of fishes. And yeah, you guys, I'm so tired. You guys can hear from my voice. Anyways, let me show my face. Um, so she helped me get a couple of things from Makoko. You guys, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I need to go and sleep. I don't even know how I'm feeling because it's just been back to back back to back to back to back mm. anyways so i am um, she helped me go to makoko one of my sisters my friend sister uh she helped me go to makoko so she got me stuff um from all of the seafood i used the only thing i know i didn't buy is calamari calamari what else and snail i don't know why for some reason i forgot to buy snail i'm so upset what because i love to buy my snails from makoko you see those really fat those really really plum and big snail you know so but somehow i forgot and they didn't have ngolo ngolo if you guys know ngolo because i wanted to make see um i wanted to make this fisherman soup for my husband he has asked me for Fisherman soup for a while now. Anytime I make fisherman soup, I must <laughs> I must go to Makoko because I get to have the ingredients I really want, you know. So the only things that is left is ngolo, periwinkle, um ngolo, periwinkle and what else? I didn't see what did I see? And snail, yeah. Golo, periwinkle, and snail. And these three things are a must for me in my um, fisherman soup. Like, a, a must. I must have my ngolo. I must have my periwinkle. I love my periwinkle fresh and green. As in, you guys, I'm very selective with ingredients um, for a couple of soups and all of that. And um, fisherman soup is one of them. I'm going to show you guys tomorrow the one, the seafood stuff I bought. The seafood stuff that I bought is a lot. It was a lot, you know. Today alone, I'm gonna, I've spent a lot of money today alone, you know. But we are grateful. The way these things are expensive is is, is another story for another day. Huh. So we wash those ones and put in the fridge. Even though I've not studied the way I like to store it, I'll continue this vlog tomorrow and show you guys, you know, um, those ones. The seafood um, markets. I didn't mark. I didn't video any market, so don't expect market vlog. I know they go market. I don't like markets. <laughs> Kids are expecting me to go to market. I know they go markets. Mm -hmm. oh. So I'm tired. I need to sort these things out this night so that I can sleep. That's it, you guys. I'm tired. I beg. Um. So yes, that's it. Good night, friends. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. friends thank you so much for watching up until now i'm so grateful remember to like subscribe and share also comment i love you